Hey everybody, so I'm actually filming for my car today because I am very busy all week, so you're gonna see me in my car. Mm -hmm. And the light sucks in here. Oh well. Anyway, my question today was actually PM'd to me by one of my viewers who actually has been watching for, I don't know, since last year I think you have? And her question was if I still follow Dave Ramsey, or the Dave Ramsey Method, Financial Peace University, Total Money Makeover, all of that. And I would say in in the most part I do, I still have a budget. I make sure that I budget every month still. Um, that never stopped. I did add some credit cards though, so that kind of broke that there. Um, I'm not paying the credit cards or the debt in order that he suggests, which is lowest to smallest. Um, and I'll explain that in a bit. Um, but I do still have sinking funds. I love sinking funds. They're literally the best thing in the world. And I do, do still have my electronic envelopes um, that I budget for every month. And this lighting really sucks. Um, what else do I have on there that's kind of Dave Ramsey? Yeah, pretty much there. It's like the budget, the sinking funds, the envelopes, all of that. I still do. I just didn't need to get back on the wagon on the whole credit card thing. Now, I do hopefully plan with all my might not having, planning not to, wow, I can't talk, planning not to continue spending on my credit cards in 2018 and paying off those credit cards because I would like to just be done with them. I'm not sure if I can pay all of them off, but goals, make goals. And the reason why I'm not paying them in order of smallest to largest is because there's a consolidation loan that I have that I'm locked into it. I'm locked into the price. The four is three ninety eight, but basically it's four hundred dollars. So no matter what, even if I get it down to a thousand dollars, it's still going to be a four hundred dollar a month payment. And I want to get rid of that because it's also a high interest. So once I get rid of that, everything else is going to be pretty simple, at least in my mind, because I won't have that four hundred dollar a month payment that I'm losing. So that's why I'm decided just to go all out and try to like focus on that. Um, and for, for my envelopes, I still have the same type of envelopes I had before. I have uh, spending, groceries, miscellaneous, eating out, and my meal ticket that I get reimbursed for work when I have overtime after or before one of the shifts I already do have. Um, just because I don't want to take that out of my spending. Uh, and then if I don't use it, I just kind of keep rolling it over or throw it into something. And basically I do that with my, um, you'll see that in my updated budget video that I'm hopefully posting next week and next week so the like the 27th or 28th that's my idea of when i'm going to post it you see how i kind of it's the same structure i added some more information and so i can track things better or what i'm going to do with them and then for sinking funds i still have similar sinking funds except that i bought a car this year so i don't have that big sinking fund that i was having for a car however i do now have another goal that i'm doing and on there it's just going to say like secret goal or secret sauce goal or something like that <laughs> something something dumb um because i'm not going to talk about that until i hit the goal until you know the reason why i need the goal there is is ready to go um i know it's all mysterious and what else i have i have my car registration that's already filled my gifts my gifts are come out. oh i have a car maintenance fund now so like i broke down an idea of how much I need per oil change, uh, if I need to do any full service, or because I have a, a used car. I don't know. If, I haven't. I haven't introduced you guys to my car. I need to do a video on that because I don't think I've ever did that. Um, it's a 2005 Civic. It has a moonroof, sunroof thing. It's kind of nice. I like it. It's red, so it's totally me. Totally me. I love it. Um, how much tires would be, how much all of that would be, and I kind of created a goal for that so I can hit that eventually. So if anything does happen, I mean, I could use my emergency fund, that's totally fine, but I, if I know that eventually I'm gonna need new tires, I, my brain, I, sinking fund for it. Sinking fund anything. Sinking fund your life. If you know what's gonna happen, <laughs> just do it. Um, and then I have some ongoing things like my medical sinking fund and, I mean, if it's a five dollar if it's a five dollar prescription, I probably will just spend it out of my like spending money or my miscellaneous money. That I don't really care too much. But if it's I'm paying for a um, like a few different doctor appointments or um, emergency room copay, then I'll probably pull it out of there because it's a little more money. But so I'm pretty much there. Yeah, so I, I mostly follow it. I'm just going to kind of go out of order of how I'm paying my debt because I'm trying to do something 
that requires me to go kind of out of order a little bit so I can kind of get that $400 payment back faster. Um, and I'm also planning to try to do, I'm, I mean, I'm sure there is, I just haven't looked into it. Kind of the same thing for my business because since I do have a, a side business, I'm not really touching the money there. I'm kind of letting it build up there so my business auto runs itself without me putting more money back in. But so far I already got to that point. I haven't been needing to put in more money into my business from my personal money. Now it's kind of like the revenue and everything that's there is actually kind of propelling it along. So I'm letting that build up a little bit over there so I haven't really brought it on my side. I do have a sinking fund in my business for like my website and it, my domain and I have a bigger sinking fund because I'm, I'm gonna need a new laptop soon. Mine, mine just keeps crapping out on me so I'm gonna need a new one pretty soon. Um, just checking the time. My lunch ends in about five minutes. And so I kind of want to do a video on that too because I want to kind of follow the same method with the sinking funds and envelopes and things like that but for my business. So I think that would be kind of fun. I don't know if I want to try to figure it out and then film it or just film it and you guys can watch me figure it out because I noticed some people like that. Some people, oh, I do. I love watching people build a budget right in front of me because you can see what they're doing. You can see where their mind's going. I don't know if you guys would care about that, but I wouldn't mind recording it for if one person likes it. I don't care. Um, and funny enough, my most viewed video on my YouTube is building a, like, it was like a business expense spreadsheet. Something like that. That's my most viewed video, so maybe somebody will like it. I don't know. But yeah, that's the question I have today. Um, I might film in my car tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Wow, tomorrow again. Haven't decided yet. I'm a little hyper right now because I just had a latte and then I'm drinking a soda because that's my life right now. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.